Greetings and welcome back everyone to City Skylines and to Bone Dragon Henge, or rather the uh, new area on Bone Dragon Henge. I have been doing a few things off camera, but actually not that much. Mostly just tidying up some things to do with the roads and also moving all of our water pumps over to the dam. Now, a lot of people suggested, well, Avak, your water pumps are not quite in the water. They're not getting any water out of there. Well, I suspected that were not entirely to blame. I mean, it certainly was. I'm going to say that the blue circle area is how much it can pull in but um i mean all of these should be pumping about the same amount now what i had before is they were around here only a tiny little bit of the blue area was covering the water but it seems that from what i can tell i actually suspect that as long as any of it is over the water then it's going to be operational you can't place it over here, but if the water level drops, but it's still somewhat near the water, then it'll still work. Because this hasn't really changed. Now, it has gone up a little bit, but that is because I've invested 25% more budget into our water pumps to try and help with that. And at the moment, it seems reasonable, so I'm not going to have to build another one. However, power, we've still got crazy amounts. I mean, stupidly crazy amounts. If I have a look at this... This is only producing two megawatts because I've cut the power so much. I'm afraid it's time for these blowries to go. I don't like deleting them because I've named you, but you're just completely surplus to demand at this point. I've cut the budget as much as I can cut it, and we're still massively overproducing. So, alas, that 40 a week will actually come in handy for us. So, goodbye, Sir Strawberry Seed Blower. You shall be missed. Next up, I would like to see which one it is. The Nomad BR Wind Pump. Goodbye. You served us well. Next up, Mega Hamster Wheel. I actually quite like this one. Goodbye, Mega Hamster Wheel. And finally, Nameless Cookie Cutter. There we are. They're all gone. You have served Anoon faithfully for a very long time, and we thank you. There we are, get rid of those uh, pylons from the expensive houses. Fantastic, fantastic. Now, with that done, actually, we've got two down here that we don't need either. So double check that. Yeah, we, we, we're fine. Right, we've got the Kururo Blowery and the Echo Ambience Noisemaker. Goodbye to both of you. That should help. Now then, I have adjusted the budget on a couple of things. I've increased the train budget, so we've got more trains moving, which uh, should help a little bit. I've also increased education, so we can teach more parks, so it makes people more happy around them. And the unique buildings operate a little bit better. Now, you're still out of water, really? Ah, uh, you're not connected to the water mains. I do recall someone mentioning this, actually. There we are. Right, now then, that is all covered. There are a couple of other things I've done. I rose the railroad so that I could upgrade this road completely, and I also adjusted the path slightly. So now this is a, a larger avenue going down here. However, this right here and this over there, they are now one way. It goes that way only and this way only. I've got to adjust this bus route because that's probably now very inefficient. But that means... No traffic lights down here. And that has made a huge difference to the omelette roundabout. This always was the worst one. And the same over here, actually. We had traffic piling up there. So this is now a one-way as well. So that has made an enormous difference. Also, I've made the off-ramp off the highway here, just in case something wants to go there. Because if the off-ramp was down there, it meant it had to go all the way around in order to go that way. So this is just a little bit more efficient. Um... Realistically, anything wanting to get up onto the highway here has to go all the way around, but I suspect that most people who want to get up on the highway from, from around here just go that way, honestly. There's not much reason why they wouldn't. I'll have to have a watch of that, but uh, the reason I've kept out there is largely because I want my freight to be able to get up onto the highway if they want to leave. We'll have a, have a watch, but right now, traffic is good. However, I want to address 
the needs of my commercial district. I feel that they need access to a railway so that they can get deliveries of freight. Even from our industrial areas can just use the railway to deliver the freight. We'll cut down on the amount of cars trying to get down here. Oh my lord, look at the traffic around there. That is nonsense traffic right there. We seem to have just moved to the traffic jams further down the roads. It's not so great. Oh my lord. So many cars all trying to move at the same time. Wow. How many people are on this stop? I'm surprised they haven't just gone nuts and started fighting. Aha, we've got a harbour and a cargo harbour. Glorious times. I'm very happy. Go away, Siren. Oh my lord, that is really quite excessive. This is to Bone Dragon Henge? Yes, it is. Okay. Well, hmm, let's have a quick look at our metro. How is the metro doing? No, it shouldn't be doing too badly, actually. There's lots of people down there. Um, well, you know, that's not terribly bad. But I am a little bit concerned about the number, the sheer amount of people who are just waiting there. That is a bit of a pain. Now then, in this episode, I have been wondering about the highway by Bone Dragon Henge. I'm thinking that we could just raise this whole thing, honestly. And there's a part of me that's wondering if I even need this part. Like we could have the highway just going around there, but now that this is the, the big thing, so as I expand down here, wouldn't it be better to have a highway connection all the way over here so that this huge residential district will actually be able to get on the highway and get into the, the rest of the city? I think it probably would. I think it, it, it would be a very, very big thing. So I'm probably going to keep that. There's an awful lot of cars trying to get up onto the highway right now, but... Uh no, it's, it's not too bad. Right, the, the first thing I'm going to work on in this episode then, we are going to get a couple of things in motion. Firstly, I want the Sopranti Zombie Nursery. Multiple problems. Building is set to empty its contents and therefore not working. There we are. We'll allow this to uh, slowly empty into some of the other cemeteries. I mean, I guess some of them might be going to the incinerator, but I pretty prefer not to think about that. I would rather it go to the cemeteries. But uh, we will then upgrade this road, because I think that road kind of needs an upgrade. There are a lot of cars on it. An awful lot of cars on it. And once we've done that, I'm thinking somewhere around there we will hook up a train station. And perhaps whilst we're allowing that to happen, I'm going to speed up some time, we are going to work on this road while that's going on. I think that kind of makes sense. Because I would like the train to just be able to go underneath. So yeah. Let's uh, do this then. I'll actually reduce this down to uh, two while I'm working on this. There we go. Get rid of you. Push that back all the way. Right, there we go. Now I'm going to need the highway. And I guess straight line would do. Is that more or less straight? No, not quite. So let's do something like this then instead. Now this is a temporary measure. There we are. And we want to just go straight down. More or less like that. Not exactly what I want. Let's uh, try and give it a bit of a nicer curve at the very least. Are there? Not quite. Hmm. Okay, that looks a bit better. Yeah, I like that one. And also... Something about there. Is that okay? Uh, it's not really. Let's go from this side and then we'll just reverse the... Yeah, that looks good. We'll reverse the direction then. And there we are. Perfect. Right, so they can get onto this highway over here. And we'll do the same on this side. And then once we've done all of that, we should be in a position then to hook everything up properly. 
uh, get it about there. Should be a nice, steady rise. Be able to run the railway track, I'm thinking, from about there. Maybe a, a break along. Or maybe I could even just have the railway track run alongside somewhere around here. Branch off, connect up there, and then come down. So it's kind of got a, a, a railway bypass, if you will. I think that might work. Drive this back. Sorry, cars. Truly, I am. Very, very sorry. And... About there, I would say. Now, we want to make sure that this is reversed. There we go. And finally... Well, not quite finally, but uh, near enough to be in final. About the way, I'd say. Is that right? Mm. No, I don't like that one at all. Way too steep of an incline. Let's start from here. Can I drop it down? No? Okay, fine. We'll do it like this then. Then connect it. There we are. Then we just need to curve that properly. I do quite like that curve, actually. Is that going to look okay? They're not particularly ideal, but I think we can live with those ones. Oh, actually, no, this one is trying to get on top. My bad. And this one, too. There we go. Right, the highway is now connected properly. Okay, so we need to bring a railway connection across. The nice thing about this is it'll also allow the railway to get all the way down there, because I'm still thinking about the oil. I may not get to it in this episode, but uh, I am aiming in that direction right now. Um, I suppose, you know, that I could have it just kind of branch off around here somewhere. So, about there. I'm just running straight down like this. Side already occupied? Is there? Oh, track. Okay. How about on this side then? Actually, that works out well because it means I don't have to get rid of the pile on there. There we go. Now, this one doesn't have to go through this stop if it doesn't want to, which is actually what we want. And additionally, kind of want a way for this to head up in that direction. And for this one to connect, no, is it not going to? Mm, that's not as good. Let's go for a bit of a curve heading that way. There we go. I do like the trains, actually. The, they seem a little bit more responsive to being... having their direction changed. Oh, there. Not the best effort I could have made, but uh, I think it'll work. You know what? I would really like it if you would instead stop doing that. There we go. That's not the best intersection ever. In fact, it's so bad, I feel ashamed. We can't accept this. No, 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 no. It needs to be something much more sensible. That is not more sensible. Honestly, I think that's just ridiculous. Why? Oh, my lord. Uh, well, we could get rid of that, then. Something like this, maybe? The only thing is... Well, I imagine this has to go to the industry. So it won't actually need to come up this way. Come to think about it. But I can't be certain of that. 
So I'd rather leave an option for it if I can. We'll do that. It'll just have to uh, exist like that for now. Now the question is, how on earth are we going to get around there and back through? I think I'm going to probably end up having to go through this area back here. And I kind of feel bad about that. I'd rather not have to, but uh, I don't think we're going to get away with not going straight through here. So sorry. Genuinely, genuinely feel bad. Um, let's start pulling away about here. Hmm. I think that's possibly a little bit too early. We'll see how this goes. So we can bring our train station all the way down here if we want to. Now if I do that, this road is going to get absolutely hammered by transport trying to get over here to up to uh, pick up cargo. So, let's bite the bullet early and upgrade it to a two-way street. In fact, let's just go around the perimeter if we can. Oh, can I not do that there? Why not? Is there something important there? I'm actually not sure. Hmm. And yet, that's an important one to know. What is holding me back there? Is it this? Probably the angle there, honestly. Yeah. Okay, well let's fix that. Let's bring this down if we can. About there. Then curve it down. Not the best, but it'll do. Uh, next up, we are going to want to probably get rid of this. Well, yeah, we want to get rid of this path, unfortunately. Because it's now very much in the way of the zoning we're going to be doing. Let's rezone everything that we can. There we go. As we've expanded the roads, it has pushed the, the potential zone back a little bit. Uh, these were already right up against the... Oops, that's not quite what I want to do. But these areas were already fairly um, right up against the, the back roads anyway, so it didn't really make that much difference. However, this road could certainly do with an upgrade. Now, the nice thing about upgrading to these roads is if I later want to upgrade to a six road, a uh, six lane road, that is not going to be a problem. And then we just upgrade all of that. There we go. Later on, we can upgrade this entire area. And for now, we'll go ahead and upgrade this as well. Because I just flat out, you know, we can see that that needs the extra volume. Uh, the extra room for all the volume of traffic we're going to be getting. Now, whilst that's happening... I know absolutely that this is not going to work, which is a shame. Let's go for a cargo train terminal. It'll have to be about there. Now, a couple of people are going to be unhappy about this, but they're just going to have to live with it. Drive this back. I suspected this would be too difficult, but I was kind of hoping that we'd get away with it. Is there any way we can go that will allow me to make this turn? Or am I just always going to run into the pillars there? Uh, that'll do. Yeah, sure. There we go. So our train terminal can service all of my commercial around this area. That will actually be pretty nice. Get rid of you and replace you. There we go. 
once they understand that there is a route there, then a lot of our freight can just come straight down here and be picked up by lorries and then delivered direct to the commercial without having to go through the residential up there, which will be an enormous help for us. As soon as this area is finished, I'm uh, sorry, as soon as this place is finished unloading, I'll be moving it. I won't be deleting it. We'll be finding a new home for that one. But that actually looks okay for now. I would prefer that streets to be upgraded, though, to allow for a much larger volume of traffic moving through there. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that, all things told. Now, oil. There is apparently a lot of oil over here. Now, as I suspected, we didn't quite manage to get to uh, getting to the oil in this episode, but I feel that the changes that we've made have been important ones. We've moved all the water over there, we've addressed our water woes, and we've also massively expanded our ability to service these commercials. See? There we go. And a bunch of trucks leaving already. Now, this is probably not going to be a drop-off point at all. Oh, actually, no, having said that, some are returning some ways. That's pretty interesting. I wasn't expecting that, honestly. Let's have a look at... Uh, do we have export at all? Outside connections? Uh, does it show anything? Export. Well, none of these places are uh, exporting. These places all are. So are these, actually. Quite a lot of them are exporting their products. Importing. Places importing forestry products. These places, oil and ore products are being massively imported. Why are you importing forestry? Are you not places which produce it? Hmm. That's kind of interesting, honestly. Fires over there. Oh, burnt down buildings, actually. That's a shame. I'll have to uh, deal with those soon. But we've got a lot of goods being exported from over here, which is actually pretty good. As for tourism, my lord. We've got quite a lot of tourism going on. I'm actually really happy with that. We've got some regular buildings that are just tourist attractions. That's actually really, really quite nice. But yes, in the next episode, we are going to be properly sitting down and designing a new area for uh, oil. We've got a very high demand for industry or offices. So, we are going to be going the industry route. We're going to be really heavily developing a whole new district. It's going to have probably a, the highway connection there coming down. In fact, we might just change this to a flat-out intersection, just a, a cross intersection, and bring the highway down here, and we'll have a large industrial area for all of our oil. But on the whole, I'm actually really quite happy with what we've managed to do. That is, we've largely corrected omelette roundabouts traffic woes. Um, and although there's a high volume of traffic there, it's actually not doing too badly in terms of just moving around. There's a lot of cars moving through this area, but there, there's not a large traffic jam. Well, I say that. Then we've got this area, but uh, it seems that things are moving fairly well. It's starting to pile up a little bit by there, but uh, on the whole, things aren't having to wait in queues too much. I probably will have to look at this at some point, because that is kind of starting to uh, be a nasty area, but uh, for now, I'm not too unhappy with it. Maybe it's these causing an extra pile up there, I'm not sure. But that is it from myself and from the City of Anoon for this episode. In the next, oil, for reals this time. And also, quite possibly, I will have redesigned the bus system off camera so that everything is making use of the one-way system correctly. But that is it from me. I do hope you've enjoyed and will be joining me for the next. But until then, and as always, do take care.